I'm sorry. Okay. Don't put it in. People will think I'm faking. No, they're not. I'm fucking sick of people's. I know. Just be good to people, please. I tend to poke my nose around internet controversies a little too much for my own good. But the credit here all goes to my friend and fellow content creator, Copy.io. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have fallen into this rabbit hole. I wouldn't have even known that this existed in the first place. So, big thank you to him. Love you, man. And with that being said, without any further obstructions, let's get into it. Gus and Sabrina started dating in October of 2017. A year later, on October 22nd, 2018, Sabrina tests positive for pregnancy. And when she gets tested at a hospital, they realize that pregnancy is ectopic. An ectopic pregnancy, for those who don't know, is a rare condition where an egg becomes fertilized outside of the uterus, instead growing in Sabrina's left fallopian tube. This can become a serious issue because as the egg grows, the tube can burst which causes internal bleeding. The severity of the situation was not lost beyond Sabrina. She considered her options and decided it was best to not continue with the pregnancy, despite the incredibly rough time for Sabrina, both physically and emotionally, Gus remained by her side, eventually getting past that speed bump. Gus and Sabrina date up until September of 2021, where they privately went their separate ways without mentioning it publicly on any social media. Until October 22nd, when Sabrina posted her video explaining the trauma she went through during her ectopic pregnancy nearly four years ago. In it, she explains that other than the intense pain she went through, she struggled because she couldn't confide in anyone other than her boyfriend. She cited this being because she believed her family would judge her, and allegedly, Gus told Sabrina that his audience, knowing about her pregnancy and choice not to keep it, might harm their online image. And to be fair, at this time, even up until now, the mother's choice is still a hot seat topic for a lot of people, and may risk losing a lot of fans from a specific group, which could harm Gus Johnson's brand of mostly non-political comedy, so choosing to keep something like that private is completely understandable. But according to Sabrina's video, Gus had doubts about the amount of pain Sabrina was actually going through and would downplay her genuine fear of needing immediate medical treatment by requiring her to call an advice nurse before making the trip to the hospital. It's also alleged that Gus would insist on listening into the calls just to make sure that Sabrina wasn't exaggerating information in hopes to steer the advice nurse into advising them to see a doctor. Apparently at one point, Sabrina was bleeding so much and was in so much pain, she made the decision that she needed to go to the hospital. When she called Gus to tell him that she's at the hospital, Gus told her that he probably wouldn't be able to support her because he had to do work and plan to have drinks and dinner with some of his friends. And yeah, if you're thinking that's pretty fucked up, we're, <laughs> we're on the same page. So after several days of pain, bleeding, and trauma, Sabrina luckily survived the ordeal and made a full recovery. But she recounts feeling like she didn't have a choice when it came to the pregnancy and stated she felt incredibly pressured to not go through with it by her boyfriend. After Sabrina told her story, many immediately connected the unnamed boyfriend in the story to Gus Johnson, and as the internet does, a lot of people turned against him and decided to seize their support for him. Gus was bleeding subscribers quickly, and without any other way for him to go, he would have to answer to his wrongdoings in the public eye. Gus Johnson's first public response was via Twitter on the 25th of October. In his response, he acknowledges his actions during the whole incident to be less than favorable and extends an apology to Sabrina. He also takes it upon himself to cancel his live shows for the rest of the year and takes a break from the internet. And then, on December 6th, Eddie Burback goes live on Twitch and officially cuts ties with Gus and announces that he is no longer going to work with him, including the podcast that they worked on for the better part of four years. Gus remained offline until January 23rd, 2022, 93 days after Sabrina's video where he gave an apology that feels like it was written by a PR team. The apology is short, which some people have issues with, considering Sabrina's video was over 20 minutes long. He once again apologizes to Sabrina and apologizes to his fans, but the language he uses downplays the severity of Sabrina's life-threatening surgery. So, essentially, moral of the story is that Gus Johnson is a complete fucking asshole. A degenerate and a dickhead who didn't treat his girlfriend properly. Actually, I think that kind of goes past not treating his girlfriend properly. It's just more so being an awful human being. Going out to dinner and getting drinks with your friends over your girlfriend in the hospital with something that could potentially kill her? Yeah, his priorities weren't exactly in order. This isn't exactly my normal type of content, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. People who are fans of Gus or or fans of the topic or conversation that like to shed light on how they feel or want to see how others feel be very happy to comment down below on what exactly this makes you feel and how you look at these things i'd be really really interested in reading them appreciate everybody for sticking around and watching to the end love all of you have a great night and gus johnson's a dickhead burn this fucker down and start again burn this fucker down and start again